So, today, uh, my back is aching. I am going to do a review of one of my favorite live action shows that I've grown up with. And although it's a supernatural magic show that uh, I enjoyed, let's review Charmed. For some reason, Charmed, which is an American fantasy drama television series created by Constant N. Berge, was produced by Aaron Spelling and from the Spelling Television Company with Brad Kerner Showrunner, which was originally about a trio of sisters, the Charmed Ones, the most powerful good witches of all time, being Ying, known for combining the power of three to protect innocent people from evil monsters such as demons and warlocks. Each sister possesses unique magical powers that grow and evolve while they attempt to maintain normal lives as grown-ups in modern-day San Francisco, where they have to keep their supernatural identities separate and their secret identities from their ordinary lives and often becomes a challenge for them. This was due to the exposure of magic having far-reaching consequences on their various relationships and resulting in a number of police and FBI investigations throughout the series. Even though the Halliwell sisters, Prue, Piper and Phoebe, have noticed that they have spent three seasons wanting to battle evil monsters that lurk out, as well as a bunch of fairy tale characters that pop out of nowhere. However, following Prue's death in All Hell Breaks Loose, new character Paige Matthews would, would show up to in her first episode of season four. Even though despite her breakout debut, I don't know why it entered seasonal rot for some reason. Before its seasonal rot era happened, I had one idea why Chan was so popular. So for a popular culture, this is how it was referenced in like Shriek, if you know what I did last night the thirteenth, or even Big Fat Liar for some reason. And from the moment you always imagined in what you see on TV, this is what Charmed Academy is like this. Charmed is basically a spiritual predecessor to the Our House. As I noticed before we had Our House, we all knew that Shannon Doherty, Holly Mary Combs and Elisa Milano have dedicated their lives being involved in it. Although Rose McGowan, who would appear in Season 4, would show up as well. Although it's a rival to Powerpuff Girls, for some reason, I appreciated its theme song. It's kind of unique, and there's one hidden Easter egg of what you can imagine. In the first episode of Honeymoon's Over, they brought us bare naked ladies for the first time ever. I enjoyed this episode when this happened at the end of that this episode. Despite this, I probably knew that this show had a tough run throughout its luck. I noticed throughout the whole show, things would have to fall apart when it comes to some consequences being flipped in the wrong direction. With a total of 8 seasons of 180 episodes, I'd say this show got put on thin ice because of the splitting of both Viacom and CBS into separate entities, courtesy of National Amusements' charging for some reason. Yeah, we end up getting a reboot series that would star Jenny's that would star Madeline Mantock, Meloni Diaz, and Sarah Jeffrey, as well as Rupert Evans. For some reason, Macy, Mel, and Maggie discover that they are the charmed ones who are good ones destined to protect his lives from demons and dark forces. Because they all have their separate magical powers. They are known to be stronger together whenever they defeat their enemies. Even though White Ladder Henry Greenwood is an advisor who is their adopted father for some reason. He protectively guides them to set things right. Although, if they had a chance to see the first white witches, to represent a women of colour within the LGBT representation, this show ran from probably around 2018 to 2022. Like its original series ran from 1988 to 2006. Although it was dead on arrival because of the because of the the because of the Viacom CBS merger and and it became Paramount Global for this year, if we all knew that Ginny Snyder 
We all know that Madeline Mantock, Melly Diaz, Sarah Jeffrey, and Rupert Evans have done a good job being involved. Although Holly Marie Combs and Alisa Malau have both criticised the decision to reboot the series for no reason, while having any returning characters for the original cast, they realised they cut it short into four seasons and 72 episodes. Despite this, let me fix the situation. The situation of having 72 episodes. Let's try 180 plus 72 equals a total of 252 episodes. Thanks to that, I'd say I got a good idea to think of it. 7 point... Hmm. I think I got a good idea. I actually got one fun idea to think of. I'd probably want to give mainly the entire series. Um, ah, there you go. I'd give Charmed like a solidly decent seven point one out of ten, despite some quick thinking of sort of the whole kangaroo court aspect to it. Oh, did I mention the word kangaroo? I just changed my mind. I will not be reviewing uh, kangaroo court, kangaroo jack and care of the kangaroo round two. Sorry, I've cancelled my video, so bye-bye.